Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the correlation property of the Z-transform. That is, we will look at the equivalent operations to, that is, we will look at the equivalent operation to correlation in time domain. That is, we are going to look at correlation, correlation of two sequences and we will define the equivalent operation in Z domain. So, if two signals, is X1 of N has a Z-transform, X1 of Z, and x2 of n, the second sequence has z transform x2 of z, then the correlation of these two sequences that is r12 of l is defined as the summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x1 of n multiplied by x2 of n minus l. So, that is the definition of correlation. Now, the z transform of this correlation sequence r12 of l is given by R12 of Z, that is small r, small r is replaced by uppercase R. So, R12 of Z. This R12 of Z is given by the product of X1 of Z, that is the Z transform of the first sequence and X2 of Z inverse, that is time reverse version of the second uh, Z transform of the second sequence, that is X1 of Z multiplied by X2 of Z inverse. Now, let us look at the proof for this property. So, for this proof, we have to start with the convolution of these signals, that is x1 of L convolution with x2 of minus L. That is, we have to do convolution between x1 of L and x2 of minus L. Now, let us define a new signal x3 of L, which is equal to x2 of minus L. Then, this convolution becomes convolution of x1 of L with the x3 of L and which is by definition summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x1 of n multiplied by x3 of l minus n. So, that is the definition of this convolution. Now, this can be and since x3 of l is x2 of minus l that means uh, they are related by time reversal. So, we can rewrite this summation as this we have summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x1 of n and we replace x3 with x2. Then we have x2 of n minus l. And if you look at this summation, it is nothing but the definition of correlation R12 of l. Therefore, R12 of l that is correlation is defined as the convolution of x1 of l with x2 of minus l. That is, it is a convolution between the first signal and the time reversed second signal. So, and from the Convolution property of the Z-transform, we know that that is X1 of N convolution with X2 of N has an equivalent Z-transform X1 of Z multiplied by X2 of Z. That is the, it is multiplication in Z domain. So, by using this property, we can write the Z-transform of R12 of L that is R12 of Z is the Z-transform of R12 of L it will be equal to x1 of z multiplied by the z transform of x2 of minus l. So, this is the product of x1 of z and z transform of x2 of minus l. And then from the time reversal property related to z transforms, we can write this one as x1 of z multiplied by x2 of z inverse. That is, uh, since we have time reversal, z becomes minus, uh, z becomes z inverse. So, the Z transform of the correlation that is R12 of Z is product of X1 of Z and X2 of Z inverse. So, that is the proof for this property. So, to summarize, we have looked at the correlation, we have looked at the equivalent operation for correlation in time domain. That is, uh, correlation can be defined as uh, convolution of the first signal with the time reversed second signal. And then in the Z domain, the Z transform of this correlation is basically the product of X1 of Z with the x2 of z inverse thanks for watching